the Q Radio Afternoon Show with Jordan Humphreys and I am so delighted today to be joined by the absolutely amazing picture this. Guys, how are you? Very good. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Thank you. It's such an honour to meet you and congratulations on your amazing new album. Could you tell us all about it? Yeah, thank you. It's very, very exciting. Sorry. We're gonna say no, I'm just going to say thanks. Um, yeah, it's very exciting. It's, it feels exciting to be like doing this kind of stuff as well, promo and stuff, because we haven't done it in so long. Um, we've had the album since like 2019. Um, so we've been waiting to talk about it for so long. So it's, it's good to be back. It's exciting. Well, I was watching whenever you uh, went live in your stories last night and introduced it and it went straight in at number one and number three. That's pretty amazing. That must have been exciting for you. Yeah, that was great. Um, the clean version went in at number three. So it was good that I swore on some of the tracks so we could get <laughs> one entry. I'm going to do that for every album now. Um, yeah, super exciting. It's always amazing to get that kind of reaction because it's scary. No matter how much success you have, it's always still scary. I find that's the scariest thing is releasing an album or releasing a song or anything like that. Um, so when you see it get that kind of instant reaction, it's always like a, a relief because I was nearly having a panic attack last night. <laughs> the boys will tell you there. I was like freaking out, but I, f I feel relieved now. I was one of those people who stayed up and streamed it straight away. And it's Thank been you. described by you guys as a fan album. What does that mean exactly? A fan album? I guess it was just we really appreciated how patient our fan base have been because it's been like what two years, nearly three years since the last album. Um, and we've put music out over over that period, but we and we had teased, we had teased the full length album a lot because we wanted to release it, but stuff kept happening that kept pushing it back. So we kind of wanted the fans to know that this is like their album, um, and give them ownership because because of their their patience and their amazing kind of support that they've given us. So there's a lot of tracks on the album that we already know and love. They've been released as singles. Is Life in Color the title track? Maybe going to be the next single. Addict of Magic is actually going to be the next single. But Life in Colour seems to be a favourite of everybody's, isn't it? Yeah, I was just about to say that a lot of people are talking online about Life in Colour being one of their favourite songs. Yeah. Um, it's funny because you live with the songs for so long, you kind of forget what your collective first reaction was when we first heard it. So it's great to kind of get in uh, fresh perspectives on the songs. But yeah, Addict of Magic seems to be uh, the, the one. It's all, it's all our favourites as well. So you guys all have a favorite on the album? Would that be your collective that's, favorite? That's Addict of Magic, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, you've now announced as well your tour dates as well for later this year and next year. When does that all kick off? That's October, yeah, around the UK. I don't know exact dates. Um, it would start around the 6th of October um, and we're just in, we're going from Northern England down to Southern England. Um, it's it's just, to be, to be honest, it's like the first dates we could kind of book in because we, it was safe to do them and we can actually get going on them. Hopefully that opens the floodgates for us to be able to do loads more. That's kind of the first step we're taking. It seems like it's going to happen. Um, so yeah. Probably a silly question but I take it you've really missed the live performance thing over the last year and a half. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's such a massive part of our band as well. We're really known as like being a live band and playing so many shows. Um, so and that's kind of that rug is pulled from underneath you. It's hard it's been really hard. Obviously, it's been tough for everybody. So I'm always quite reluctant to talk about how hard it's been for us because we're obviously very privileged as well compared to many other people. Um, but yeah, that, that kind of the thing about our band is the connection with the people and the connection with the fans like we've touched on already. So when you don't have that kind of in-person sort of connection all the time, we, we really miss it so much. And you also don't know whether your songs are really connecting because you can look at streams and radio play and that's all amazing. But when you don't have people standing in front of you screaming the words back to you it's always it's hard to know so we miss it so much we can't wait to get back well we've been really glad to have lots of uh, new music from you guys over the last year and you always get a fantastic reaction at q radio and um, now one thing is you have a massive fan base here in belfast and they'll all be delighted that you're playing bell sonic next year are you looking forward to that absolutely buzzing it's it's always one of our favorite shows isn't it, it is and i don't just say this lightly like i always say that belfast has been me personally my favorite place to play uh, when we played the Botanic Gardens in 2019, I, that, that was my favourite two gigs I think I've ever played. There's just a different energy in Belfast and it's always funny. We felt that from the first time playing here and um, yeah, I just love it. There's a magic. Is there, any, is there like a different vibe playing at a festival sort of environment like Belsonic as opposed to a more intimate gig? Yeah, there definitely is. We, we love both and we've done both in Belfast because we, we started off so small here. I remember the first time we came up here on our first Irish tour, we were like, nobody's going to know who we are in Belfast. Um, and then we just kept selling our shows and it was crazy so we've had that kind of those intimate shows up here but Belsonic is like a different level of, of atmosphere we actually supported the 1975 who are our favourite band 
um, at Balsonic and then we headlined it the next year and this will be our, our next time playing it again and it's just that t- the last time we played Balsonic was my favourite show we did on that whole run um, it's just yeah a crazy atmosphere I don't know what it is but the people of Belfast really kind of took us on from the beginning because not a lot of bands cross over from, from the south um, as easily as we did for, for some reason the people just really took to us and we're so grateful well, we're very, very happy to welcome you back. Wish you all the very best with the brand new album. And uh, we are going to give away tickets to go see at Bell Sonic as well, which I know people will be very excited about. So guys, just want to say thank you very much for the time today. It was lovely to meet you. Thank, thank you. you. Q Radio.